Hi, it's Coach Pete. Thanks for coming back. What we're going to do every week is we're going to work on strengthening and conditioning your leadership skills, your communication skills. We do a lot of work with family businesses and we also work with leaders in corporations. So we'd like you to come back every week and learn a new skill, strengthen a new skill. This week we're going to work on constructive feedback. Last week we worked on appreciative feedback. So we talked about how you can give positive feedback to people. This week we're going to talk about the stuff that's a little bit trickier, a little bit harder. I was actually working with some leaders this week and it's, you know, I guess not really surprising to me, but people usually say things like, I'm not very good at that. I avoid confrontation. I don't like to make people uncomfortable. I don't like it when flies, little gnats go in the middle of my broadcast. Sorry about that. Um, didn't he see the sign that said we were on the air? What's that about? I so I put the no bugs sign out. Darn it. Um, so anyway, so this week let's get into really talking about giving constructive feedback. I've got like four steps that I think make it really simple for you. Context, concrete, commitment, and connection. And by the way, we just published a blog post today that gives you the details of this. So I'm going to give an example. I have somebody on my team, George, who does work on our website. And we had a breakdown recently and the website wasn't working and that was a problem and that was frustrating. So I said to George, here's how I do it. Hey George, I need to give you some feedback because I really want to make sure we put our best foot forward at all times and do the best we can with our clients. That's the context. That's the background. That words before the words. So I really need to give you feedback. Here comes the concrete part. The second step, concrete. The website wasn't working yesterday for about 20 minutes and so we had service interruption and that's a huge problem for our clients and for what we're trying to do. Very specific, very concrete. And what I'd like you to do in the future is put together a checklist so every time we make a change at the website you can double check and make sure that everything's working before you publish that change. So that's how I'm being concrete with him. The next step is to get a commitment. So can I count on from you, can I get a commitment from you that every time you make a change now at the website, you'll follow that checklist and make sure that everything's working exactly as it should work. And then I'll wait and get a commitment from him. Many times leaders, they'll do a couple of the steps, but then I say to them, did you get a commitment? And they're like, no, not really. I was just, you know, I was so proud of myself that I gave the person the feedback. You've got to get the commitment. That's a really important step. And then the last step is to make a connection. So I said, so let me just check in with you, George. We doing okay? Appreciate the work that you're doing. Um, you know, sorry we had that breakdown, but we've got to get that fixed. And then he says, yeah, no problem. I totally understand. So constructive feedback, context, the words around the word, concrete. Don't just be vague about it. Say, here's exactly what happened. Commitment. Ask them to make a commitment to do it differently next time. And then maybe some connection at the end. That's how you.